We're delighted to welcome each and every one of you on behalf of the staff to our school. Our institution as well as the school is transforming to position itself to become more integrated with our communities. And as such, forming key partnerships between stakeholders is essential for us to map out a path uh, into the future. This morning we opened our doors of the school and we invited our partners to engage with our staff, to see our facilities, uh, to meet our students. And this for us was the first step along this road in terms of this relationship between us and you. Today we obviously celebrate a step towards achieving these goals. Um, the two facilities that we'll be opening, both of them are underpinned by a, a facility that is designed in a sense to meet the needs of various industries. And with time, I'm hoping that we'll see these strengthen and, and develop. We've identified um, innovation and entrepreneurship as key drivers of the university moving forward. Now, part of this vision is to create a set of decentralized core research facilities across our campuses. So these labs that we're launching today are a key component of that kind of thinking. We as a university will continue, together with our students and together with all our staff, continue to hopefully inspire greatness in everybody that we work with and everybody that we touch. If you look at TIA, we access projects from academia, from science councils, etc. We support them and we hand them over to VCs or to private sector. The entire university model should be based on the concept of entrepreneurship. And we need to reposition South Africa and use innovation to solve society's problems. Hello, my name is Fernando Alvencio. I am a professor, research professor at the University of Colas in Natal. I am director of the Peptide Science Lab. What are peptides? Peptides are small proteins and they are formed by different amino acids. Our work is to investigate new methods to prepare peptides to be more efficient and also to be green because we have to be green and then to see application for these peptides. But of course we are hoping to start a new collaboration with South African uh, companies and also South African universities. This ecosystem that we are creating here will be wonderful for our students. As you can see we have a wonderful lab, a wonderful facilities. I have to thank first of all to the South African taxpayers, also to the National Research Foundation, the University of Kuala Natal our BC, our DBC, the DBC of the college, the dean of the School of Chemistry, all my colleagues at the university, and a special thanks to the administration people, the supporting people. Thank you very much. students to have advantages in developing devices. I would like to thank the National Research Foundation for its National Nanotechnology Development Program, as well as the Research Office of the University of KwaZulu Natal that enable us to find the funds to purchase this instrument. All our partners from industry and those who joined us this morning, we had a really packed and exciting day today. We had exciting talks, tours, discussions, and I'm sure that we forged new relationships, and I'm sure that new collaborations will take place as we go on. And I want to thank you all in our endeavors to take this school to greater heights.
for us being here, it was great. We have interacted with a few uh, professors and we have already shared some you know, contacts. We went through the labs, they've got good equipment. It's so exciting to see the researchers and the students being excited about the lab and the new developments. We're looking forward to working with the, with the students and providing them with material to do their research further. I was encouraged by today's um, a meeting. I'm very happy with, with the vision that uh, UKZN Chemistry Development has to work in collaboration with companies. We are very fortunate to be part of the UKZN Department of Chemistry and Physics and we look forward to collaborating with them and expanding on the research and future endeavours. One of the highlights for me was the thin film making. I think the innovation coupled with the entrepreneurship and creating jobs and uplifting our society, that's the key message that I'm taking with today.